Good afternoon, everyone. Um, that was one of the most moving performances I have seen um, of children on stage. I almost had tears in my eyes and how beautiful uh, they looked and how well coordinated they were, how innocent it was. So thanks, thanks for the wonderful performance. And I guess a lot went into went into it, not just from school but from home. I can understand. Um, it is hard for writers to only say a few words, <laughs> but I'm going to try my best and um, if I do get carried away, it is only because I feel at home with Shishu One staff around and the Shishu One family around. Um, it's one of the rare schools where I really feel at home, so <laughs> bear with me if I do get carried away. Um, speaking of homes, um, every child has two homes where they are born and they are raised. By that I mean home and school both equally play a very important role in shaping the child and who they go on to become. When I was asked to say a few words on how being a student has shaped my life and my unique perspective on education, I realized how all of this had one thing in common. It had to do with words. My life as a student was largely shaped by the words of my parents, of my teachers, and all of those around me. When words were used to encourage and empower me, I felt uplifted all of us. But when the same words were used to um, ridicule me or reject me, um, I felt dejected and discouraged. For example, I remember this incident where uh, in an annual day at school, I was in the school choir in group singing and I told at home, you know what, you have to come and see me. I'm singing in a group <laughs> and um, the response that I received from my parents was, what? It's just a song in a group. Oh, okay, it's not a big deal. You're not doing a main role or anything. And that left me feeling that I wasn't good enough. I had to do something. I had to strive. I had to prove myself. I wasn't enough. What I was doing wasn't enough. However, there were also very empowering and uplifting things as how my teacher said to me, which left uh, an impression on me. Um, I think it was in secondary grade where one teacher said that there's only one student in this class who could possibly define this or who could possibly write this. I had no clue she was talking about me. And then she named me and I said, what? And there, she uplifted me there and then. And she was speaking of how good I was at language and that made me pursue English and language confidently. And, uh, you know, that led me to believe in me, because she believed in me. Um, I think the way we talk to our children becomes their inner voice. And words and the way they are used becomes extremely important, especially when <laughs> parents and teachers are concerned. While words can give you wings to do, to dare, to dream, they can also leave you feeling wilted and wounded. Let us use our words to encourage and empower and facilitate the growth of our children so we may help them discover who they really are. Let us use our words to raise happy and confident children who believe in themselves. When a school has a motto that every child is a star, you don't have to worry about your children because they are in good hands. So when the school has a motto that every child is a star, the child starts to smile. Smile from within, as you saw all the children here. They smile from within, they shine. And they start to believe that the light is within them and not outside. Let's tell our children 
that the light is with it. Thank you. Thank you for your valuable feedback and inspiring words. I would like Kia from Karma, Shruti, Kia and Shruti, Shraddha class, come and give. Thank you so much.